This broadcast is rated inappropriate for all ages. Here on the Play Spot. Welcome, I am Camera, and we're going to talk about some games and stuff that I've been doing this week. Uh, it's been a very busy week uh, trying to recover from VidCon, which I did nothing, if you remember from last week. Uh, or I did near, nothing, near enough to nothing. Um, and I wanted to do a bunch of things and get together with some people this week. And it hasn't happened just because life's gotten in the way. Oh, poor, poor me, I'm sure. But I did get in a game called Barbarossa. It's a deck building game. Um, if you go over to YouTube.com slash Gaming Division 528. Uh, you can see a little, little uh, unboxing review thing there, at least shortly. Um, if it's not up already, it's not, now that I think about it. Because um, I've got to render a couple things. But um, that'll be up shortly enough. Um, I've got the first piece of uh, Forgotten King Wave 2 in. Uh, my dungeon uh, pack for Vondrak Manor. Oh... It's going to be awesome. Um, I can't wait to start working on that project. Once I get everything in, I'll organize it, and uh, that project will probably start. It's going to take some more Minecraft work, which I have to do for uh, another project still, too. So, yay. Um, we'll just have to see how that goes. Anyways, um, so that's excited. exciting. Blah, 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 blah. It's exciting that that's that's coming up. So that look out for that in the future. Um, what was it? Uh, oh yeah. So I played three games today because I wanted to make sure that I got some games in. Uh, I didn't play any of them for very long, which is fine uh, as far as the world is concerned. Um, I'm sure. But uh, I did want to talk briefly about them. Uh, Quest of Dungeons. Um, I've seen a couple games like this show up. Um, Hammer Watch, uh, there's another one, let me look at my desktop, see if I, I actually have it there, um, I don't see the one I'm looking for, there, there was a particular one, um, Questing Hero or, or some such nonsense, um, I really don't know what happened to that, I could have sworn I had it, um, I'm not going to sit here and look at my screen for that long. But uh, I really thought I had it on a list somewhere of things to play. And maybe I didn't install it because I knew what it was. But um, there are several games like that where you're just third person, Legend of Zelda style, uh, rolling through dungeons and killing stuff. Um, the, being able to co-op, I think, is vitally important, which this doesn't allow. This is actually the exact opposite in theme. It's like you have a party of people, and then uh, they banish you or they exile you to go venture on your own. So you do that. Um, there's regen built in, which is fine, uh, but it breaks it to a point. Um, if you are not paying attention, uh, that's where it gets you. And honestly, um, the game kind of lulled me into a bore a couple times where it's like, um, oh, I don't care what's happening. And then that very well could have been the time I died. I actually beat a couple bosses, uh, which was cool. But, um, yeah, there's, I don't know what to, what to say about the game other than, like, it's just, it's not a good go for me. Like, I'd go back and play Hammer Watch, but I'd go back and play Hammer Watch because I could invite other people to play it with me. In fact, I actually really wanted to do that. I wanted to get uh, with some people, um, from all over the place, um, over, like, a weekend and just go run through Hammerwatch, see if we could actually go through an entire thing and beat the boss, or beat the, the queen larva thing, uh, that I fought, um, and see if that experience is any better or different with a group. Um, and then I played Race the Sun, uh, it reminds me a lot of, uh, Lufrausers, um, it's a game I normally wouldn't enjoy. It's very much, uh, you may, you do it in runs, and then as you, uh, die over and over again, um, you accomplish different goals, you get better experiences out of it, and it's not my sort of gaming at all. It's, uh, especially being in, like, flight sim type things, it's, and it's like pod racing, not even a flight sim. Um, and you can actually switch to first person, which was, like, worse uh, because it forces you to go. I don't like that at all. It's like, if I hold the acceleration and I can back it on and off, then maybe, maybe we can work with it. But, uh, I think I played like 20 minutes or so of it and I just, I was done. I couldn't, I couldn't stick with that. 
Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else positive to say about it? I mean, it's very pretty. They always put some hard work into it. Uh, it it's very adaptable, so it looks like it would work, work really well on a phone. I don't know why I'm trying to hold a phone up. You know what a fucking phone looks like. Um, unless you're from the year 1988. And in case, like, you don't know what I'm talking about. But, um, yay. Um, yeah, I can't, I want to say a million good things. So obviously put a lot of work to it. The, the levels change real time every 24 hours, uh, supposedly. So, there's that. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I put in a Rocket Birds hard boiled chicken, which I was hesitant to even put anything in at all because um, it was just like, oh, what what am I gonna do to myself? And then I felt like that all the way until I got to move around. Um, and then it reminded me a lot of Out of This World, or is it Another World? Is that what it's called now? Um, because I remember, like, back when it came out, there was two names for it. Um, it, it's, it's now called Another World. It's available on Steam. Um, it was Out of This World back uh, on Nintendo. Um, or, no, Flashback was on Super Nintendo. Uh, Out of This World, I think, was on Nintendo. Or they could have both been Super. Uh... It was really fun, very Prince of Persian y type game. I say that now and I realize that you're not gonna have that reference. But the original Prince of Persia was a two D side scrolling, like very much ex exploration, uh crouch and and jump, and then you had occasional sword fights and in out of this world it's sci fi themed, so you get your hands on like a laser gun eventually. Uh but that's not the main thing you do is shoot things. It's you have to detect, um, and whatnot, and, uh, that's what you do with the game, is it's, it's all about puzzling out all the things, and in this, you do s a lot of similar stuff with the, the fighting, it's like, somebody, who, like, really liked Contra, and then they were like, make, make another world, but put Contra in it, it's like, wh what, what, okay, um, I, I, it's really hard to say anything else past that about the, the fighting system because like, you can throw uppercuts, but it doesn't seem to actually hurt them enough to kill them. Um, so you're just you're slinging bullets. Uh, and it takes a lot of bolts to kill some of these guys unless you have a shotgun and then take like two shots, which is fantastic. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't... I don't know what to say about that. Like, I played through, like, five chapters without realizing it, or four chapters without realizing it. I was like, oh, I need to find a, a stopping point. Um, so I think I'm going to go back. The only thing I really didn't like about it was the jetpack battles. I don't think that the jetpack battles match up with the rest of the game. Um, if you like playing the rest of the game and then suddenly you're forced to jetpack battle, I don't think you're going to enjoy it. I don't think that that's what makes the game special. Um... I think the exploration, Metroidvania-ness of it, which is actually funny because Flashback and Out of This World come before Super Metroid, and I really think, well, I mean, Metroid did come, it, but it, it didn't have a lot of the same mechanics that Out of This World did. Um, and then when you finally got to Super Metroid, I think that's where you could actually like jump up and grab ledges or uh, climb down ledges and such. Um, or maybe... Maybe you can do that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, maybe, uh, there was talk I heard, and maybe it was just kind of funny rambling about stuff, but um, they were talking about, like, there needs to be something done with Super Metroid, and, like, their, Nintendo's upset with it from a business standpoint because it doesn't sell, but it's, it's a renowned, famous uh, franchise. So people love it, but it just doesn't sell really well, at least at the beginning, um, because it, I think it takes a certain type of intellect to get into the game. It takes a certain amount of skill um, that is not rinse, wash, repeat strong. It's uh, like, how do I do this? Let me figure it out without any help. 
Uh, and so, because people don't tend to enjoy it as much as they have to sit there with the guidebook the whole time. Um, so there's a certain audience that definitely needs games like Super Me- or like Metroid um, and Out of This World and things like that. And I'm definitely in that audience. So I'd like them to keep making oof, excuse me, games in that vein. But um, I understand that in the overall scheme of things, it's it's a minor part. But the real- realization needs to be that it's a part of it. Um, maybe you don't need to spend as much as you do on the other games to make it, but you still need to put some effort into making the the damn game <laughs> um, and keep putting it out. Now, uh, the but that leads into another problem of like just the Wii U in general and consoles and like if you were just making games to put them out on whatever the platform was, it wouldn't be as big a deal. But now you're, you're you have to make calls on what can and can't go on the Wii U because it's a failing platform at this point, um, which is sad. But Stop doing consoles. And that's Nintendo's thing, I think, is that when they go to the next, uh, I think you're, it's going to be a virtual console. I don't think it's going to be a, um, a true hardware. Uh, I think it's going to be like you put it on your phone and then you can play stuff through your phone. Um, I really think that's what it's going to be. I think that makes the most sense. Um, there are ways to hook your phones up to like TVs and whatnot. Uh, you can probably it'll probably you know it'd be really smart if it's android compatible then like the ouya can put it on there and you can essentially turn your ouya into uh, a nintendo system or you have the option of running that virtual console on your ouya so you can play nintendo games through your ouya uh that would actually be a really good business decision but it doesn't sound very japanese to do that uh i don't see them doing that and and with a water going Jesus with a water going and the that power vacuum being there I think more of the older folks are going to take hold and it's not going to be the newer people that are going to take the risks that are necessary to let Nintendo thrive on um in a world of hardware and whatnot so uh I don't think we can expect that to be a reality um, it would be really nice. It might be something that happens in retrospect. It may be something that happens via piracy anyways. Uh, but I don't think Nintendo's going to go, that's a good idea. Let's let's talk to them ooya fellas. Um, because that's not how <laughs> things work over there. Hi, I don't know what happened there. OBS crashed on me. So, um, but we are almost wrapped up anyways. Um, honestly, can't even, I was in the middle of a thought and I lost it. Uh, oh, what I wanted to play in future. I should probably be making uh, more dedicated plans to it because I'm going out of town on Friday. Uh, I'll be out of town this weekend, so I don't know how that's going to affect my gaming for the next week. Um, but I do know I've got to get together with a friend between now and Thursday and play some uh, some Dominion or Barbarossa or um, Mage Knight, I think was the other one he had that he was trying to learn still. So... We'll have to see. Um, But until next time, I am Camera. Have a nice day. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels.